So, what are all the other blood types? And what's the whole positive and negative thingy about? Okay, so basically there are eight main types of blood and they're separated into four groups with over 90% of people falling into one of these main groups. The groups are A, B, AB, and O. If you're wondering why O and not, for example, C to make it A, B, C and nice and easy, well, it turns out that it was originally called C, but then it was later changed to the letter O in some regions or the number zero in others. In both cases, this was to signify zero or null for reasons that we'll get into in a second, it wasn't just random. In any event, these blood types are grouped together by the presence or absence of what is known as an antigen. Antigens are the substances within the blood that basically cause our immune systems to create antibodies, which are essentially used to recognize invaders. These created antibodies then send anything the immune system thinks is a threat to sleep with the fishes. The specific antigens that create the different blood types are found on the surface of red blood cells and are known as type A and type B. They're further separated by the presence of another type of antigen known as Rh factor. If you have this Rh antigen present, you're considered a positive. If not, you're considered a negative Nancy and nobody likes you. We're looking at you, Jimmy. Someone that has type A antigens and Rh factor is considered to have type A plus blood, the best grade of blood. And if you have both types of antigens and no Rh factor, then you have type AB negative blood. If you have no A or B antigens, then you are type O blood, hence the whole zero or null thing that was mentioned before. All of this matters because of those antibodies that your immune system creates. Someone with type A blood will at some point in their earliest months or years, for trigger reasons not really wholly understood, they'll develop antibodies for type B, and somebody with type B blood will have antibodies for type A. Type O has antibodies for both A and B. 